This next walkthrough, I want to show you how to combine two images and get the best qualities out of both. I took two photos of this octopus sculpture. One I took with a black background and another one I took with just an all white background. This is what the setup looked like. That's what it looked like with the all white background. I have, you know, white background, the two homemade diffusers I made right here wrapped around it. And the reason why I did that, like, I want it to be very well lit. No shadows. I want to be able to get all the detail from the image. Second one I took, I put a black piece of foam core behind it. You know, uh, put a slit down it, folded it in half so it stands on its own, and put that behind it. And the purpose for that is I wanted to create more contrast. Because when I shoot an image this way, I get all the detail, but the image looks flat. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right here, this is the all white background. And the image looks kind of flat. But by putting the black background behind it, it creates more contrast. So I want to take this no background image and add qualities from this black background image. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to adjust levels on both these layers. Then I'm going to put a layer mask on the black background so that I could paint on the qualities that I like of this image and have it overlay on the no background image. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the levels on these layers. First, I'm going to adjust the levels on this no background layer by right clicking, colors, levels. Here I am going to move the slider in to right about here on this peak. Don't go too far. I don't want it to get too... I don't want it to get too bright. Right about there. I think that looks good because it maintains some of the shadow. I'm going to darken it by moving it to just about the end here. You, you can kind of see the line where the black starts. Well, I'm going to take a little bit further. Just barely over. And this section here on midtones, I'm going to darken that up just a little bit. Maybe I should lighten it. I think that looks good. Now moving on to the black background. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to adjust the levels. Get the whites to be pretty white. This one's okay to go a little bit over overboard because this is not the base image. I'm just trying to get the contrast because I'm going to paint the contrast on. Hit OK. Now the next step is to align them. You can see when I go back and forth between the images, there's kind of a um, shift. Uh, when I took the pictures, the camera must have shifted a little bit on the tripod. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line them up. I'm going to lower the opacity on the black background layer. I'm going to zoom in. Pretty close. And go to the black background layer, go to the move tool, make sure I have move the active layer, which is right here. And I'm just going to adjust it till it lines up. I'm going to lower the opacity just a little bit more. Get it so it looks like it's in focus. There, that looks good. All right. So zoom back out. Now the next step is to put a layer mask onto this layer. So I'm going to right click on the black background. Add layer mask. 
I want it to be black, full transparent, because now I could use a white brush, white, make sure the mask is highlighted, and now I could just paint on the attributes of this layer that I like. Well, let's turn it all the way up. Like, um, go around the edge here. Oh, make sure you use a soft brush with a lower opacity. The reason why I like having a lower opacity is so that I'm able to build up value opposed to just laying it all down all at once. I could just kind of paint it on like so. The reason why I put a black background on is because that helps create more contrast in the image. And the more contrast there is, the more volume shows up. And when there's more volume, it just gives it a better, better look. It looks more three-dimensional. So I'm just going to paint on the areas that will be getting the light, like on the eyes. I'm really going to get the eyes. Add life to it. Like so. And if I go too far with this, I can go back with the black paintbrush and paint away what I painted on. That's the nice thing about layer masks. By using a layer mask and two separate images, one with low contrast and the other one with high contrast, I was able to go from this, low contrast, and just paint on the higher contrast aspects that I liked, which gives it bigger, fuller volume and looks good. What it looks like without the background layer is that is the area that I painted on. You could totally see the difference. 